Hi there, Gemini. Welcome to Healing Guys to Roll. This is going to be a March 2021 love reading. Look at that coming out already. Appreciate your talents. All right. So this is for your love reading, your bonus reading for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. I don't relinquish your power. Appreciate your talents. Show off your talents. Don't, don't dim your light to try to make other people feel better. That's what I'm getting that my guys are telling me. That you have to shine. Let your light shine. Appreciate your talents and other will too. Just because they don't have their same talents that you have doesn't mean that you should be dimming your light to make them feel better. Okay, and signs. You are getting signs. Ooh. And friendship. There's a friendship coming in or there's a friendship that's real close that's coming up in this reading. Okay, what else? And you're getting signs about a friendship at the beginning. And we have Raven, prepare for change, Archangel Azriel and Bohopi. I never know how to say that angel's name. B-H-O-K-P-I. Okay, horse, care for others and let them be free. Archangel Mary and Christine. Alrighty, what's going on with your reading now, Gemini? Let's see what's going on. I'm very excited. I feel a very excited energy. Something's coming in because I can feel it. Okay, let's start here. Knight of Pentacles coming in. So, this can be a Virgo. This can be a Capricorn. Or this can be a Taurus. And crossing. Ooh. So, if someone's walking away from something, I think someone's walking away from something to come towards you. Could be your energy walking away and leaving something behind to go to something better. It might be this Knight of Pentacles. Ooh, so the energy where you're very, you're man manifesting right now, very magical. The energy, if you, I just feel really, I don't know, electrified, is that what I should say. And in the past, you just got recognition or recognized for something. It might be your talents that you're trying to hide. But someone, if you don't know about this, it's in the background that you are, people are noticing you. So, and you've been through a lot to get there and then we have the queen of wands okay so someone I think sees you as very sexy and luring and attractive and va -va -va -boom. yes <laughs> and then we have three of wands so you you put something out there and you're waiting for it to come in you, you know you you design something or you um put in the finishing touches you did whatever you had to do or maybe even if you um filled out an application a resume or something and you put it out there and you're waiting for things to come in something that you put out there you're waiting for it to come out now five of cups okay now you're thinking about the past or this could be someone else thinking of of you but i feel like you're reminiscing about the past and, and not seeing the potential for something else here okay people see you as very new to something maybe naive young inexperience could be too that someone wants to offer you their cup but I'm feeling more of the energy as people seeing you as not not as knowledgeable as you actually are now there's energy that's kind of coming real quick here something's coming towards you quickly or you're moving fast towards something. Or it could be communication coming in. And then we have the high priestess and the outcome. Okay. I'm like, I think I'm going to rest it like that there. Okay, here we have the energy of your intuition. Secrets. I, I really feel like you're hiding a lot of stuff. And it's okay to hide it. Because, I mean, I appreciate your talent, show that. But there's something you might be keeping close to your chest here. And you're not letting other people know. And you will have the sign for when you can open up on this. But appreciate your talents. That is just popping up, like, really strong here. And the bottom, we have two of swords. You're going to have to make a decision on something. There might be two paths or something you have to decide on. Okay. Let's do some clarifying of this. I am very excited. I don't know what this NG is, but it's making me feel very excited. Okay, let's clarify this Knight of Pentacles. 
And let's get some clarification on this Knight of Pentacles, please. Hmm. Okay, now the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight in the deck. But we also have now the Hangman. But this person, whoever this is, I think he's, they're seeing something in a different way. They might be seeing things the way, if there's someone from your past, they might be seeing things through your eyes. They're getting different perspective, whatever. Is, is it you or someone else? And someone's moving away from something. Either you move away from something to go to someone or they're moving away to come towards you. But they're seeing things, someone's seeing things differently. This is a very exciting reading. Okay. Why do we have the Eight of Cups for Gemini? Oh, again. Whoever's leaving something, they're coming quick. They want communication. They want to talk to you. Yes, there's someone coming towards you that wants to talk to you. They want this back and forth communication. They want something to move quickly. They might have been stuck for a while. Maybe they couldn't move. There was something holding them back. But once they decided they wanted to move or make that decision, maybe that's what the Two of Swords is. They had to decide on something. Or you had to decide. But once the person decides, it's coming quick. And someone's manifesting something here. Let's see why the magician's here. Okay, this magician is manifesting, getting rid of these burdens. There's been way too much um, on someone's shoulders here, doing too much, being pulled in too many directions. Just there's too much. This is this is ending because this person's able to manifest something new and exciting and something very exciting. I don't know the energy. If you could just feel my energy, how I feel right now, it's like it's amazing. Oof. Okay, look what moving away. See now these are movement cards. Here we have the six of wands and we have the six of swords. And we have, the, you know, there's a lot of movement happening here. And it's bringing it in. There's something that someone moved away from in the past. A thing you might not even know about yet. It's bringing in this opportunity, this brand new. This could be this person coming towards you, leaving something else to bring you an opportunity. It could be a business opportunity. It could be a proposition. It could be a love offer. It's going to be different for different people. But it's definitely it's very exciting. I don't know what this is, but it is very exciting. Very good. Okay, and the Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Whoa! We got this card again. Okay, so you are definitely... If you don't see this energy yet, it's there. It's coming. And it might be coming in different... In maybe a couple different areas. That you're getting recognized for... Whatever you're doing, is whether it's your career um, or if you're getting recognized and someone sees you and puts you on a pedestal as far as love. Or it might be several things. You might be doing so much because you have all these burdens and they have been a burden. But these burdens have manifested these new beginnings for you. And it's coming quickly. Okay, let's see. Three of Wands. Whatever you put out there, maybe you don't see it yet, but it's coming. You're waiting here in the future for something, but I don't know. This energy is showing that maybe you're just not seeing what's going on yet. It's the, behind the scenes, it's hidden at this time. Queen of Pentacles. This is going to bring you in a lot of prosperity here. You're going to be doing very well here. It could also be um, you're waiting for this person to come towards you, and they're doing quite well financially because we did have the Knight of Pentacles that moves real slow, and this is also a Pentacle. So again, it could be the Virgo. Um, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Okay, let's clarify this Five of Cups. I can't even begin to tell you how, how excited I am. Okay, if someone has to make a decision. So someone's crying over these spilled cups. But they can turn around. There's Here's a two, here's a two. There, there's decisions to be made. Someone is stuck in their head about what they lost. And there's opportunity here. So you might be stuck in your head about something, and, and there's definitely opportunity. We have the Two of Swords here twice. Each deck that I used so far brought out the Two of Swords. Okay, so this someone's being sneaky here. Someone might see you as being sneaky, hiding something, not really um, opening up. They maybe want to offer their cup, and they're thinking, well, I don't know, this being sneaky. Or they could be watching you, spying on you, or... Um, I don't think you have all the facts here. We're going to have to definitely clarify these cards. Okay. 
Eight of Wands. Why do we have the Eight of Wands? Hmm, yeah. Someone wants to come and offer you something, but they're afraid you're going to reject them. Could be vice versa. But yeah, there's definitely going to be com communication. I think um, someone was on the fence about how to do it, but they are going to come in. And they're going to make an offer. It could also be a job offer, but I really think it's a, a love offer here. Okay, and the High Priestess. Why do we have the High Priestess? Ooh, there's going to be a new beginning. This High Priestess, whatever you're manifesting, you are very intuitive. You are, you, between the, the Magician, I guess I'll just put this down, the Magician and the High Priestess, you are very connected. You are spiritually connected and able to manifest whatever you want. Here's the new beginning. Also, I mean, that could be Aquarius with the full card here. Also with the Magician, too. Could be Aquarius coming in. Um, and we have Justice. This is going to bring you Justice. Things are going to work in your favor. Libra energy. Okay. So let's see. We have to... We definitely have to know what's going on with this Page of Cups and this Five of Swords. Why do we have those cards? I'm right, jumping right to that one because I'm very curious. Ooh, so this is really of a love offer that's coming in for you. That someone might just not know how to go about it. They might, yeah, because of this feeling they might get rejected. They have a lot of love here. There's going to be a love offer coming in. Someone sees you as their wish fulfillment. And that maybe they're afraid they don't have enough to offer you. That that's why you might reject them. That you might be doing better than them. Because you're, you're the queen of pentacles here, I think. And your ships are coming in. The money's going to come in. Okay, let's clarify this five of cups with this two of swords. That's a little confusing too. But I mean, I know it's a decision. But maybe we'll get a little bit more on this. You're stuck in your head. Or someone's stuck in their head. But let's see. Seven of Pentacles. Someone's wondering whether they should put more work into something. Will it pay off? That's what I feel. I think someone wants to come towards you and they're afraid that maybe if they put the work into it, should they put the work into this? Or maybe you don't know if you want to put your work into into this um, new beginning with someone. You're afraid of getting hurt. Bottom we have, yeah, Ace of Pentacles. I don't know. There's fine, The Ace of Pentacles of Finances look really good for you. So whatever, even this is a work situation, your money's coming in. Maybe you don't see it yet, but it's coming in. You know, let's throw some more cards just to see what we get. What else is going on for Gemini? I want to know some more. Tell me more. Tell me more. What else? I'm very curious. What's going on for our Geminis? Our wonderful Geminis. Ooh, King of Cups. All right, so that could be Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces interested in you. A lot of love. What else? The sun. I think you make this person very happy, or if they haven't been with you, they feel that you will make them very happy. Just thinking about you makes them happy. Could be a Leo. And they think about you a lot. They're in their head about you. They're definitely in their head about you. Oof. They're on their mind. Again, someone is definitely leaving something behind. And they're being divinely guided. In this, this is a guide I see here. This, this person here. And also I see spiritually. These are guides. These are from the the animals, the, the birds. The birds are spiritual communication. And these are pulling you away from rough water to something better. Wow. You have choices. You're going to have maybe more than one person to pick from. But maybe that's why you're stuck because you got the two of swords here twice. Not able to make a decision because you have more than one choice. But you are going to pick 
what you think will help you grow. Whether it be spiritually, romantically, um, financially, decision is going to be something that there's going to be more opportunities from from this. You feel like there is growth. What else do we have? And it's going to bring a lot of happiness. Whatever you're picking here, whatever you're choosing, whatever's coming in for you is going to make you financially stable. There might be a, like a windfall of money coming in too. The money looks good. You had Ace of Pentacles twice. You had once on the bottom of the deck and once over here. So definitely money's good. And you're waiting for something. You've been through the battle here. You've been through a lot. And you're a little um, discerned about what's going to happen, how this is going to play out. But I think the universe has your back. I'm going to throw a couple more of these cards and we'll put some romance angels on this. Let's see what else we get. What other kind of information can you give us? Queen of Swords. Yes, yeah, someone's afraid that maybe this could be you, Queen of Swords, that you're going to cut them right out. You're not you don't put you don't tolerate anybody's crap. You're you're coming with this Queen of Swords here. So if they don't come right, they don't come proper, they don't come to you in the right way you're not gonna um entertain anything judgment yes you're gonna have a judgment on this person um they know that if this is someone from the past it could be someone come back from the past if it is someone come back from the past they know they have to approach you right and they have to bring something to the table because they didn't bring things to the table before you're not gonna tell you're not gonna you're not gonna entertain this at all eight of wands again So definitely communication back and forth coming in, coming at you quickly. Queen of Pentacles. Again, the Queen of Pentacles. You're doing quite well. This person knows that you're in your power. They see you. They know. You can have whatever you want. And it's a burden. So you're letting go of the burden. Though I really see this burden's over that you manifested out of this. Maybe this is a burden on them, how much they care about you. Again, the Ace of Pentacles. Definitely your finances are really taking off here. You're getting opportunities. There's a lot of things coming in for you. You're going to get many offers. I think there's going to be like business job offers coming in. And um, finances are not going to be an issue for you. And you are in the spotlight. You are getting recognition for what you do it as far as your work. But I think you are also in the spotlight. You're looking really good because you have this queen of wands here. And you're like, you know... You're on a pedestal. People see you as very attractive. You're getting a lot of attention from um, whoever you're, you know, the opposite sex, same sex, whatever it is, whoever, you know, they're, you're, you're getting noticed. You're definitely getting noticed. I think um, a lot of people are noticing you. And you're standing above the crowd here. Okay, let's throw some romance angels on this now. Let's see what else we have for Gemini. Romance angels. Very exciting. Very, I tell you, it's electrifying energy that I'm feeling right now for you guys. Worth waiting for. Divine time is at work in your love life. Okay, so whatever has to come in, I think everything else has to play out. You probably have to go through whatever you are going through. It seems like that's been coming up a lot. A theme for people is that they have to get their self in order as far as their career or whatever's going on, and then the love comes in. And then we have, this could be the one you already met, the romantic partner you seek. So you might already know this person. If not, they're coming in real, you know, quick. This won't be long. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Maybe that's why you can't make up your mind. Maybe this person is different than what you're used to. And you're, you're kind of confused by it because you like to stay in the same old pattern. But why stay in the same old pattern if it didn't work? Now you need a change. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Absolutely. And then the bottom we have is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy off. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Gemini, I'm very excited for you. This is a wonderful reading. Everything looks like it's going to be going your way. You just got to have an open heart, open mind. And look for the signs. You are protected. And you know, appreciate your talents because you do have a lot of talent. And don't relinquish your power. And this um, relationship might start out as a friendship, but it will grow into something much stronger. Okay, Gemini, please like, share, and subscribe, and I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you.